This is a huge opportunity. You're gonna make a ton of money. Like there's no reason you should be scared for going into a recession, but it doesn't mean you should also be stupid. Yeah, so, um, hi, Jab here um, Jab. From, from UK. So, um, yeah, so I've been working in various niches, niches just due to the network I got through consulting and um, where, where I was working as a marketing manager before COVID. Um, went solo um, and, yeah, started working in all these different industries. But now I was thinking, I want to niche down to that because I want to become subject matter expert within one of these, these niche, niches and just want to get your tips on what you think is a the best way of filtering filtering one down because there's many options but you can't pick all well you could many options just... you can't pick all yeah i'll give you a couple of things um if i were to go out and start um building an agency today okay this is what i would be looking for in terms of starting my agency number one is understanding the foundation of how this business works okay when you're starting especially it doesn't mean you can't go to broadly to a lot of different customers, but when you start, you absolutely have to be super granular. Okay. So in this environment, I would be thinking about uh, durability during economic recession. Okay. Now, if you guys, here, here's one thing I'll say. If people are talking to you in your spheres, or if you're in groups, or if you're in Facebook, or like any place where they're talking about, Oh, we're losing clients because of recession, this, that, and the other. That's code for we're bad at running our business. This is a huge opportunity. You're gonna make a ton of money. Like there's no reason you should be scared for going into a recession, but it doesn't mean you should also be stupid. So a couple of things I would be looking for. Number one, what, what categories are evergreen? I mean, medical is always gonna be evergreen. Real estate, maybe not so much right now. But maybe there's categories within real estate, maybe wholesaling, maybe that's something that's arising, okay? But um, but there's some services that just will never go away, okay? So make sure that you're putting yourself in the categories that are very durable during recession, okay? Insurance is one. I mean, everybody, always, you always have to have insurance. You're always gonna get braces. You're always going to go to the doctor. You're always going to fill in the blank. Okay. So maybe use chat B GBT and say, what local businesses are very durable during economic recession? Give me a list of a hundred. I don't know. That would be a good use of that tool. So that's number one. The number two is look, <coughs> excuse me, look for, um, look for categories that include financing, okay? Businesses that make money kind of onesie twosie, that make not very much money are going to be a challenge. They're, the, they're going to be the ones that are gonna churn the most. I, I don't know, anything where, the, where their average customer value is like below 500 bucks, yeah, you can do better than that. I mean, why not go to an orthodontist where their average case value is four grand? Boom. Okay. So let's, let's use the orthodontist then as the example. Now, if I'm going to orthodontist, well, there's 14 other people on this call. Well, they're all thinking, I'm going to go to orthodontist. So you guys all go after orthodontist. Well, there's enough for all of you to go after it, by the way, go ahead. But then there's two things that you can do that will make you specific. Number one is look at the actual orthodontist out there. What are the what are the sub niches of orthodontists? There might be uh, bilingual. So these ones only deal with like Spanish speakers. Cool. That's the niche we're going to go after because these other people. We, I mean, my agency, I don't have any uh, Spanish templates, so I can't help people in that niche. So right there, I'm at a disadvantage for that particular, you know, TAM, total addressable market. So look at them. What things can they do uh, maybe military families like are they this is the we work with orthodontists that are near military bases now that sound might sound crazy but first of all there's actually an entire business model just with that and now you're getting granular because the ads you create the way you approach those people it's very specific 
Okay. And then, so that's them. Whoop, you flip back to you. Then it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do to like, what offer, what structure am I going to do? Maybe I'll do prepaid leads. I told you that example earlier. Maybe that hasn't hit that niche. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Maybe I will do event marketing. I'll promote like a back to school event where we do a giveaway and it's like a, a three week rush flood. Everybody put in your um, name, phone, or email to win a free pair of braces for back to school, like new year, new you, whatever the, like the event is. And so that's my promotion model. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to get a bunch of customers, but really what I did was I ended up with whoop, a list of 300 buyers that did not buy. So then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to follow up. I'm going to send them uh, like for the next two months, I'm going to send them text, email, follow-ups with vouchers, offers, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to, so I'm going to promote for one window and then I'm going to clean up the sales on the next one. And then the next time I go out, I'm going to do the same thing, rinse and repeat over and over. So my whole model is event promotion, cleanup, event promotion, cleanup. This game, the reason when people say, is it saturated? It's only saturated if you stay at the top and you don't think creatively about how you can appeal to different factions of a category down to a sub niche and then create an adapted model to where you're like, I bet you they've never heard of this before. How many of you guys have heard of an event marketing Facebook ad agency that all they do are promotions quarterly? How many have heard of that? That could be your model. And when you go to somebody, you're like, so your problem is you want more blah. You keep, you keep getting promoted by all these other people. Like we do this, we do that. We do this. They're all saying the same thing. Good news. We don't do any of that because it doesn't work. It's, it does X thing that you hate. It does Y thing that you hate. It does Z thing that you hate. Here's what we do. And then you roll it out to them. You say the whole plan. And they're like, Boom, that makes sense to me. That's what I want to do. There you go. There is a seven-figure model, eight-figure model right there. Cut me in on some equity, would you?